We begin tonight with a developing disaster in Fort McMurray, Alberta, where the entire population of 80,000 is on the run from a city on fire. The whole place is being evacuated after a dramatic shift in the wind sent an out-of-control wildfire inside city limits. There seems to be no end to the wildfires in Alberta, Canada. According to the latest tally, the flames have spread across more than 250,000 acres of land. And as the fire rages on, thousands of evacuees continue to be on the move. So we're in downtown Fort McMurray. It almost looks like a bit of a tornado. That, that's going right by the fire station. And look at this. We just got off the air with Global National, but we have to tear down. So we're in the community of Beacon Hill. This white stuff, I'll use my finger, this cloud here, uh, smoke, is actually on this side of the river. So uh, it, the fire is extending on this on this side of Fort McMurray into Beacon Hill. And look at these, look at these, the smoke. Uh, it is crazy.
Authorities say that no tornado touched down and there was minor damage caused by heavy winds. Residents of Denver witnessed very dark skies, pea-sized hailstones, rain and heavy wind weather patterns when these strange clouds appeared.
The corals off the South Florida coast are turning white and getting sick. Scientists say a severe episode of coral bleaching has hit the reefs running from the Florida Keys through Palm Beach County. Under stress from unusually warm water, the corals are expelling tiny pieces of algae that give them their color and provide them with nutrition. They turn white instead of the vibrant reds, orange, and greens that give the reefs so much of their beauty. And losing the algae can leave them vulnerable to fatal diseases. Scientists diving off the reefs have seen dead skeletons of coral without any living tissue. Many species of coral have been affected. South Florida's reefs are the only coral reefs in the continental United States. They support a vast range of marine life and a thriving economy of fishing, diving, and snorkeling. 